Okay, so today we're going to do, do a, a bit of a video. Um, I'm testing a set of camera glasses out. So I've got a camera in the set of glasses I'm wearing. And we're just going to do a run through of what detecting equipment I carry for myself and my two daughters. So first up, we have the Xterra 705, which is obviously my weapon of choice. This one runs a Bluetooth receiver there which plugs into the headphone jack and that enables me to connect it to bluetooth headphones and have no wires simple i run these ones which i find quite suitable quite good now next on the equipment list is a trusty garrett gta 350 this is a detector that is old very old but it works and it's good at popping coins the third detector which the kids love and use a lot is the go find 44 that's this beast here now this one runs bluetooth as well but in a different way it connects to a bluetooth device so we use a little ipod that connects to a set of you heard it, bluetooth headphones for the kids they can actually listen to music and detect at the same time it mutes the uh, music when it detects as a target and you hear it through your headphones brilliant so what equipment do I carry well I have this strange thing here this is a uh, battery bank which can go onto my little hat I'll go into that in a minute I carry rechargeable batteries enough for two sets for all detectors and rechargeable pinpoint batteries as well I carry a detector hat with a GoPro knockoff camera hence this thing this can go on the side and you run a cable to either this one or these camera glasses to keep on recording when you're running low on power. I run a nice little bag. This is my bag. That's right, Iron Man. I found that one. <laughs> so, in this one, we have the GP pinpointer upside down. This is a new one. Works very well. Never a problem. Section for fines, trash. We have a little shovel in here. Just basic stuff. Two screwdrivers, one normal. And we have a coin popper for those pristine parks we don't want to dig at or in. The next one, detecting bag two. This is the girl's bag. They have to share one for now. So they have a little zip there where they can put their fines and also their little iPod in there. They have a GP pinpointer upside down yet again. This is my original one from a year and a half ago. I have trashed this thing so badly and it just won't die. It's even started to wear down the tip. And of course, they have a shovel. So, hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully it looks good. Um, I will put a quick video up on these glasses I am actually wearing at the moment. I'll do that on my little helmet one over there and uh, show you guys what that is. Thank you. So, we're in the boot of my car. This box remains in my boot at all times. I've got a, I think it's a Saxton shovel. Sharpen with an angle grinder, make it extra sharp, and a box. Excuse the messy umbrellas and crap. I carry the homemade sand scoop, a little rake for numerous things, a cleaning rag which I attach to my side if I'm wearing jeans, a pair of gloves which I don't know why, they're useless, a steel trowel for doing some type of parks or scrubland, <laughs> a pickaxe which is put a nice big hole in my, my little container and this thing strange this is i attach this to my belt and if i'm doing combing a beach i'll drag this behind me so i can see where i've been and that's all for the detecting toolkit in the boot okay hi everyone this is just a basic review of uh what well, kind of review just a uh, rundown of what i was using before when i was recording all my equipment I was using a Googaloo E7 pair of glasses. That's them right here. So let's get them out, have a look. So, these things are quite good. So as you can see, there's a camera lens right there, which happens to be a Sony CMOS sensor. It's tiltable, so you can go up 12 degrees, down 12 degrees. So quite good for that. Um, these are 1080p but only at 30 frames or the 720p at 60 frames. I'll probably be doing the majority of my shots in 720 because I like the smooth motion of 60 frames. 
these are Wi-Fi enabled. So, which means I can wear these, grab my phone, and use the phone to stop and start and do what I need to do on the phone. If I, I don't want to use a phone, you don't have to. You can actually just use a single button to turn them on and start recording. Um, they're currently running a 64 gig memory stick in it, or like an SD card, I should say, for recording stuff on. So that's what I'll be using. These would be my probably uh, everyday use for detecting when I go detecting, and I might even use the uh, this knockoff I'm using to record on for other purposes. So wait and see. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.